Harris Stowe State University looks to provide outstanding educational opportunities that build skills and nurture intellectual curiosity. Here today is President of Harris Stowe State University, Dr. Dewan Warmack. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Sarah. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, I think we should start things off by saying congratulations on so many fronts. I mean, it's the start of the school year, it but is. you're going into the school year with some great numbers, and we're going to talk about this basically surging enrollment. Mm -hmm. Tell okay. me more about this. Well, um, first of all, thank you for having me here today. I'm excited to be here. Um, this year has started off in, a, uh, in, in an amazing way. You know, we've had our largest um, incoming class we've had in school history in 161 years, and also our best academic profile we've had in school history. So we're excited about the growth. We're excited about the uh, quality of students that's coming in and what they're going to do for this region. I was watching something the other day just in preparation for this, and I think I saw something fastest growing public institution in the state of Missouri. Is that still, still a correct? Marker there? I, I think so, unless something has changed. You know, we're um, up year, year over year from 2017, 2018, 19 percent yeah. in our enrollment. Over four years, we're up about 34 percent. So we've had an amazing increase, and we just didn't do it quantitatively. We have did it qualitatively as well. So there's not just our best in regards to numbers, mm -hmm. but uh, the academic profile as well has mm -hmm. been the best we've had. No, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's really important. You've got some strong, when we talk about quantitative data, we've got some of that data. Right. We're going to kind of walk through it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull up these slides. Okay. And we're going to kind of walk through that. Okay. You can maybe tell us the, the secret sauce that, uh, you know, that your team is using. But uh, maybe let's start off with admissions. That's what we've okay. been talking about. So tell me a bit more about this enrollment report. Well, I think we have a um, uh, enrollment management team that does an amazing job at Harris Stowe. We use data analytics to, to guide all of our work. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at in 2013, we had a total of 667 individuals apply to Harris Stowe. Mm -hmm. And if you go to 2018, that's not a typo, 6,887, that's over a 900% increase in students who are interested in attending this institution. Um, so for us, it's exciting. You know, this class here had, I think, 37 states represented, 21 countries. Wow. Put it in context, in 2013, there was eight states represented, two countries. So within a five-year span, we've grown tremendously, a 900% increase in applications and interest, and plus, you know, the amount of states and countries that are represented our institution. Uh, it's out <clears throat> outstanding because mm -hmm. I, I and I was saying to you when off camera before we started this that I had read an article uh, recently local coverage um, about how other universities actually their enrollment freshman enrollment is down yeah. and here you are with like a huge this is a huge <laughs> huge increase that's uh, that's wonderful I do want to get into some of those details too about okay. your strategy but I next want to enroll to our other slide that okay. we have coming up Sounds we'll good. take a look at that that is going to be the enrollment uh, these are the highlights tell me about this yeah that's and that's what I shared earlier just the 19 percent increase over um, from 2017 to 2018 we're up 19 I think of 270 for a student increase to our new student enrollment. That's freshmen and transfer students intern Harris Stowe. And then, as I talked about before, 2014 to 2018, we're up 34 um, percent. And so for us, it means a, a lot because residentially, you know, we only have space to house 420 students. But unfortunately, we had over 700 students apply for housing. And so we've had to rent out a local apartment complex to put our students there. So we're, we're growing in a very authentic way, mm -hmm. and we're rec recruiting students from all over the country mm -hmm. as a first choice institution mm -hmm. at Harris State mm -hmm. University. No, that's, that's phenomenal, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. important to note that because I think so long people have thought, oh, just from the region exactly. or from the St. Louis area, but that right. people are coming from internationally and abroad. Let's look at retention. That's always important, that's too. Important. We hear this a mm -hmm. lot in higher education, yep. that we get the numbers in, but then people cannot stay to complete that four-year degree. Tell I me agree. about your retention rates. So we've, we fought very hard. When I arrived, that was in a um, area of concern identified by the board, mm -hmm. identified by the campus community. As you see, we've made amazing progress. In 2012-13, we were hovering around a 43% retention rate, which is not good, mm -hmm. you know, and so we are going right at now, we're at the national average of 65%. So within five years, we have jumped about 22% in our retention numbers. And so best practice in higher education, you typically get in a five-year span, three to 5% increase, but a 22% increase in our retention strategies, hats off to the team uh -huh. who've been doing an amazing job of intentionally going after those students and making sure we don't just recruit them, mm -hmm. 
we retain them, we graduate them, and we get them gainfully employed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's vitally important. That's yes, vitally indeed. important because the degree means one thing, but having somewhere, you know, to, one to complete it and then to go afterwards. Exactly. And then lastly, this leads to completion, and we're going right. to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit more about, we're going to take a look at that last slide. It's chart uh, for completion. Okay. It's going to get that up there. Okay. Maybe we can, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> there Sounds we go. Sounds good. This, this is our last graduating class. This is uh, in 2017-18 graduating class. This is the largest graduating class in Harris Stowe history. We graduated 177 uh, graduates in that class. And that graph breaks down where those students graduated from. Within that context, you'll see College of Edu uh, Arts and Sciences, Education, all the different uh, majors. But the interesting piece is how our graduates are calculated. <clears throat> the unfortunate piece you hear people talk about graduation rate. Mm -hmm. So out of 177, only 32 will ever count in our graduation rate, but 177 graduated. Hmm. Because if you before we were a very commuter-based campus, and if you transferred in, you never count in the graduation rate. Mm -hmm. Well, the class of 2012, 2013, were critical mass of them were transfers, and so they never count yeah. in the graduation rate. So we are um, really focused on the degree production and getting students to and through the finish line. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to get into some more of the, the when we talk about the quality behind the quantity. I right. do want to get into mm -hmm. that when we come back. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a quick break, but there on the screen is information. It's really just the website if you want to reach out and learn more about Harris Stowe. We're going to show that for you. Harris Stowe State University, easy to remember website, hssu.edu. Don't, but don't go anywhere. We're going to have more with Dr. Warmuth when we return. Stay with us.